Good day, ladies and gentlemen. It's me again, Jamok, on Facebook. I'm dear friends in Sweden, on Twitter. Like I said before in my previous videos, making these videos is not to be famous or to be a celebrity or a Facebook star or whatever. It's purely educational. I am IPOB member, Indigenous People of Biafra, fighting for the restoration of God's kingdom on earth, Biafra. Biafra has been suppressed since thousands of years ago. But up to now, we are still living, even if we are living under slavery and servitude. So the question I'm asking, and I'll always ask, is this. Why Biafra? During the time of slavery, Biafra was the main focus of the Western world, of the slave masters. We were enslaved for more than 400 years, then colonized again. Amalgamated with the Northern Fulani and the Yorubas in the western Nigeria and called it Nigeria. And when the British left in 1960 with the, their so called flag independence, they handed us again over to the House of Flanis to enslave us again. So my question still remains why bear France? Why are we so important? as slaves to the British. British. Why they love us so much? Is it because we are perfect slaves? Or is it because we, I don't know, the answer must come from you. You who have affiliation with the British, who can send it further so that the British can hear me and maybe come with some answers. Two days ago, Tony Blair came to Nigeria. Tony Blair wants one Nigeria, isn't it? But Tony Blair never come to, to the eastern part of Nigeria, the Bear France. He never visited us. <laughs> isn't it strange? He normally goes to the north the houses and the Flannies and talk with them, give them advice. That means he give them ad advice them to come and advise us or to come how to manage us or whatever, you know. I don't know. But that's very ridiculous, you know, and uh, strange. Paul Ockright, the British High Commission in Nigeria, he, n he never come to the East. He goes to the North and talk to them. <laughs> and, you know, and they maintain that Nigeria must be won at all costs, you know, to ins continue the enslavement of Bia France. The strange, thing is, the strange thing is this. How many houses are in London or in England working as doctors, nurses, health workers, and uh, social workers, and, and all, and all was not engineers and all that? It's not houses, it's the Bia France, you know? So uh, why not? Why are you afraid of us? Or is it because you hate us so much? What's the problem? You know? We have oil. We have all the natural resources. The Northerners, they don't have nothing. But you prefer them to us. That's the question. And, you know, when I think about it, I say, why? Why all these things? You know? It's not a laughing matter, but I... I, I I tend to laugh about it because when I, I sometimes I, I, get, I have sleepless nights. I have written to many, many organizations trying to get answers to these questions, but none of them could, have, could, could be able to come with a reasonable answer. Only those who support the unity of Nigeria will say, yeah, Nigeria must be indivisible and all that. But no good reasons for that, you know? And now that we are agitating, they, come, they are coming up again. They're gathering. You know, they have killed us in, in the war, during the war 67 to 1970. 
And now and again they are gathering. They want us to, to, to make any move so that they would label us a terrorist organization. You know, but uh, that will not happen. The other day, the yesterday or so, the Yorubas gathered together and went to the American embassy to protest because we the, we uh, we have sued the the Brantai and he, the army commander in the zoo called Nigeria in the U.S. So they are protesting against it. That means uh, they said, like they said in the placard, that uh, the unity of Nigeria will be must be uphold at all costs. So. The blood of the Brafran will continue to spill to keep Nigeria one. You know, the question I'm asking the Yorubas in that aspect is that how many Yorubas have been killed to keep Nigeria one? How many? Can you answer me that? You know, I can see that, you know, that's uh, a kind of unfairness and uh, stupidity among <laughs> the so called Nigerians. They are not uh, well informed. If they are well informed, I don't think they will be taking that part that they just took, you know. So the question still remains, why the difference? Why should we not agitate to be free? Nigeria haven't been, was not created by God. It was the amalgamation of indigenous peoples come together in 1914. So if it's not working, why not uh, separate? as, uh, uh, you know, amicably, instead of having to spill our blood and kill us all the time and nothing will come out of it. But this time I promise you that we are going to agitate, uh, even if it, it takes us uh, 1,000 years, peacefully, of course. This time, you got no chance to, 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 to kill us like you did. You can kill some people, yes. You can't avoid, but you cannot get, go scot free this time. Any Biafran killed will be accounted for. Believe you me, <laughs> you will answer questions for that, no matter who you are. You know, so the best thing is for you to come to a round table and talk. We demand for referendum, and referendum is the, the right of any human being, any amalgamated people, any joint venture. People tend to vote and say, do I want to belong to this or do I want to just continue as it is? So try to <laughs> consider this and start coming with reasonable discussions instead of just coming out with, uh, you know, uh, nonsense, you know. Nigeria Sunnis is not sacrosanct. It can't be divided. It won't God... Even if it's God that put it together, God can also also, also also separate it, you know. So many countries have gone through that way. Their friends will not be different. So I thank you all for listening. And um, I hope that one day you come to your senses and see the reason why we are agitated. You know, the reasons are bound. But I can give you a lot of reasons. We are being marginalized to the extent that there's no development coming from to Biafra land by Nigeria. You know, all the achievements we have made is made by Biafrans, you know, on their own. They struggle. When they finish school, they don't get a job in Nigeria. They have to travel abroad. A lot of millions of Biafrans are living abroad. That's why even they are the ones sponsoring, funding IPOB. So stop being, you know, uh, a nuisance and think that some other some people are sponsoring us. You know, it's being sponsored by the indigenous people of Africa, everywhere around the world. That is the, the advantage. You see, we use the, that disadvantage of being chased out of the contraption called Nigeria. We turn it into an advantage by the grace of Chukwuajiam, and now we are we are funding the agitations, to be free at last. We have been slaves for many years. So I thank everybody that is an IPOB members and urge other people to reason with IPOB.
and join, especially when you are an indigenous people from Biafra.